Christian Guzman, natural or not. I've been following Christian Guzman since I got into fitness, when I first became a personal trainer all those years ago. And then when he started opening up his own gyms, I followed his entire journey. And he's always been in fantastic shape. He's got really, really good genetics. And he does this series on YouTube called Summer Shredding. And this is where he gets in crazy shape. He inspires thousands of other people. People come from all over the world to compete at his show. And he makes everyone feel included because he is also going through the dieting process with everyone else. And needless to say, he gets in amazing shape every single year. But there's a few suspect things that we have to question. Now, let me just put a disclaimer out there. I love Christian Guzman. He's amazing. He inspires me so much in business, in fitness, just overall in life. I would rather meet him for the day than any other celebrity. I guess just because he's a lot more grounded in reality and he's come up from a similar background to myself. So it's a lot more relatable. And see him go on his journey of opening up gyms as being nothing short of extremely expiring for me. Now, for anyone watching this who is trying to build muscle naturally over the last three to five years, you'll realize it's extremely difficult. Even as a beginner, it still takes quite a lot of time to build muscle. And that's where you're going to make the majority of your gains. But as you go through the different stages of your lifting experience, it becomes harder to build muscle as you go through these stages. If you've been lifting for longer than five years, you're going to be advanced. Now, Christian, of course, he's been lifting like 10, 15 years. So he is in the advanced category. No doubt about it. Just as I am, even though we look drastically different, unfortunately. So if anyone's out there who understands how hard it is to build muscle, even as a beginner, you'll understand that as an advanced trainer, you're looking around a couple pounds of muscle a year that you can expect to build at the very most, even with elite genetics. When you look at the top pro natural bodybuilders, some of them are even questionable. These natural bodybuilders will take three to five years off competing completely in order to just gain as much muscle as possible, only to five years later step on the stage at the same weight, if not one or two pounds heavier, which means that they've only built a pound or two of muscle in five years. Now looking at Christian over the last couple months of this prep, he is looking insane. He's looking more shredded than ever and also bigger than ever, especially when you go back to his old summer shredding series. He looked nothing like he does now. And I know some people out there are going to say, yeah, but Sean, you can still build muscle. You're just not consistent enough. You do, 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 do. Christian has elite genetics, but genetics doesn't matter. It's all about the rate of progression. And Christian right now is going at an insane rate of progression, which is abnormal for someone who has been training as long as he has. In Christian's previous Summer Shredding series, I did question whether he was natural or not, just because of the level of leanness that he got to. He kind of kept that fullness in his muscles and he had a very grainy looking physique. But is it achievable naturally with really good genetics? Yeah, I'd say so. But there was just that seed of doubt planted in my mind that I thought to myself, hmm, maybe he's done some sort of Anavar or Winstrol or some sort of light steroid just to try and maintain or, or retain muscle mass during the prep phase. But now looking at him, he's definitely hopped on the sauce. And I noticed it a few months ago, either at the start or before he started this dieting phase, his upper back was looking massive. His traps were juicier than ever and his chest was massive. In certain scenes, sometimes I noticed that it's like he can't even walk, he can't turn, he's become very very inflexible and hasn't really got much mobility anymore, which is usually a telltale sign that someone has hopped on gear. What you often notice when people hop on steroids is it's the upper body that balloons up, it's the upper traps, it's the upper chest, and it's the delts. And you can look at any of Christian's recent videos and see that he has made insane progress in those regions. Which also brings me on to the main point of this argument, which is over the last few years, during the pandemic, he's been deep in the trenches of building his business, his huge gym, his headquarters for his companies. And this is called Alpha Land. And the gym is absolutely incredible. It's definitely going to be one of my goals to be able to fly out there eventually and train in that gym for a good week or two, live the fitness influencer dream. But I myself know how stressful it is, not just building a gym, but also maintaining it, staffing it, getting all the systems in place, making sure that it's profitable. You're constantly on hand. You're constantly needed. There's fires that you've got to put out every single day. And my gym is just a mere ant compared to his monster of a business. And even I know how stressful it can be. You can go back to those early videos of him opening up his facility and getting it ready mid pandemic. And you can see how stressed he is. He's actually got footage of him sitting there at 3, 4 a.m. just working right the way through and not going to sleep whatsoever. During all of this time, his training wasn't good. His nutrition was terrible. His sleep 
was awful and he was massively inconsistent which is to be expected I always joke around and say that if I didn't have my gym I would be so much further on in my progress the moment that I actually opened my gym was the downfall of my training and nutrition because all the business side of things come first so if it ever looks like I've hopped on steroids it's probably just because I've closed my gym down and I've actually started making progress again but what we've noticed now is that Christian is looking absolutely humongous he hasn't had a consistent three four five years of just training hard heavy being super super consistent and meticulous with his nutrition to build this much muscle it's like an extra 10 15 pounds of muscle no he's had a large period of time where everything was all over the place so this is something we need to take into consideration how has he made this much progress when he's been so preoccupied and stressed with his business now here's what i think he's done i think since he's opened his gym he's got back into his training he's on it with his nutrition and he's thought screw it i've got a cloven company i've got a cloven line to sell i need to look good in these t-shirts it's going to be all eyes on me i need to represent fitness and represent my brand in the best light possible so he's got back into his training nutrition started hammering it and then hopped on the source and really made loads of progress and put on a lot of muscle and then what we're seeing now is as he's getting leaner by the weeks he's maintaining that fullness if anything it looks like he's building muscle into the shop which is another telltale sign that someone is on the gear but he's maintaining that fullness in his chest and his shoulders especially in his latest video we also notice that you don't hear him say the word natural anymore he no longer talks about being natural anytime he gives a physique update on his instagram he'll just say fitness transformation or physique transformation no mention of natural if he had done this naturally he would have taken the opportunity to say so because it's even more impressive if it was natural now don't get me wrong is this achievable naturally i'd say it could be with someone with elite genetics and if they were training consistently from like 16 through to the age of 30 but the fact it's in such a short time horizon leads me to believe that he is definitely taking something right now now this doesn't affect his integrity it doesn't affect his brand whatsoever it's not like he's trying to really deceive people by saying it is a natural transformation but don't get me wrong he will be making money off the back end of this physique he does have a supplement line his energy drink brand he's obviously got his clothing company and his gym there is a lot of money at stake here he recently done a youtube video where he was talking about how much his business is making as a whole it came to around 10 million projected income for the first year of being open that's insane and you can obviously argue that his physique has a lot to do with that granted he has good marks and he has a team of course the point being is that his brand is built off his physique which i think at the end of the day he did do the majority of naturally and it's only just recently that he's hopped on the gear so is christian guzman natty or not well obviously not now anyway but i do believe that he spent the large majority of his fitness youtube career being natural what do you think comment down below i'd like to hear your thoughts as well do you think christian guzman is natural now and he's just got elite genetics do you think he's on just a mild form of steroid or do you think he's absolutely blasting it comment down below i want to hear your thoughts make sure you subscribe if you haven't guessed by now i'm getting multiple uploads every single week i know it's going to be a slow journey it's going to be slow growth but it doesn't matter we are committed we are dedicated i'm going to be the scouse christian guzman i'm a youtuber so let's do it like subscribe see you on the next one